We have a couple core principles that we, we focus on, you know, it's creating our own environment, you know, keeping teams in the deep end of the pool, making sure we don't give them easy outs, um, you know, and, and the competitiveness, trying to be an unconditional competitor, and those are three things that we focus on that are all about us. It has nothing to do with the opponent, and if we can continue to do that, then we'll continue to get better, and we'll leave the chips how they may, and, and, and the result how it's going to leave. Denver, I'm very well, uh, you know, very knowledgeable about, just because I know the coach, I know a lot of the players. That's a team that's on the rise. They've, they've done really well the last couple years. Uh, Christian Thompson over there does a heck of a job. Um, we got to see him at the Blue Gray uh, Invitational. We didn't play him, but I got to see him. Uh, they got a really good uh, number one doubles team. They're they're top heavy in the lineup for sure. You know they're scrappy. They're they're a dangerous uh, three seed in this tournament. Um, USC, you know it's it's kind of like. It's kind of like a, a college basketball team not having their point guard until the conference tournament, and now they're hot, you know, and that's kind of USC. They're healthy. They're playing great tennis right now. It's at, at the optimal time for them, not us maybe. Um, they did really well at the Pac-12 tournament, and they're playing with a lot of uh, confidence, and they're a blue blood, man. They're, they're a team that this isn't scary to them. They expect to be in the Elite Eight, Final Four type team, and so, you know, they're not going to be afraid of playing in Lubbock and playing against us in the second round if we happen to get there. So we're going to have to put up one of our best matches together if we want to get through. Doubles points can be huge against uh, all three opponents or whoever we play. Uh, you know, for us, we've had a lot of success after winning a doubles point. I think we've only lost one match after winning a doubles point. Um, you know, it's just that's that's always critical. And then, you know, the middle of the lineup, we you know we have an All-American at number one. Um, I, I'll put her against anybody. That doesn't mean she's going to win, but I know what we're going to get. We need to get a little bit better in the middle of the lineup, but we're playing some of our best tennis in practice in the middle part of the lineup, so I'm excited where we're going to get to. That girl deserves absolutely everything she's getting. She's getting a lot of recognition, and she's worked really hard to get that recognition, and she's so humble. Um, I know I told her she was going to be the first All-American the other day, and she said, so what? What does that mean? And I was like, well, we've never had one. She goes, we also have never had a team that made the Elite Eight. Let's go do that. That's more important. And that's the type of kid she is. She cares so much more about the team than herself. And a kid like that, you want to see all the awards go to her. Earlier in my career, when we got to host, uh, maybe over coaching leading into the, uh, to the tournament, and I think I've learned a little bit about when to push, when to lay off, and, and kind of let the players play. And, and we've done all we can do to this point and, and just kind of let them go.